Hello guys, this is Pa here and welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. We are continuing our story and Hoagie just did a massive burp. Very, very nice indeed. <laughs> so yeah, we are of course joined by our <laughs> resident mummy here who doesn't say a lot. <laughs> so we are on the hunt for... We've got oil and we need some vinegar and gold, if I remember correctly, um, for Red Edison and his uh, battery that he's creating. So we need to just have a look around. He's down, so he's down there. Um, I think what we should do is probably go and have a look upstairs, um, just to see if we can find anything up there, any gold or vinegar. While there would be vinegar upstairs, I'm not sure, but there could be gold. Uh, okay, so, hmm, we've got a few doors actually. So I guess we just, let's just go through the first one and just see if we can, uh, see if we can find anything. Uh, open. <laughs> Opened. Can we go in? <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, right. Uh, George sleeps here. <laughs> I'm guessing that's George Washington. So, we've got a cord. Uh, George's bed. Maybe look at it. <laughs> I guess this is George Washington's bed. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, okay, push. Oh, have we just broke it? Hopefully we unbroke it. Pull. <laughs> Open. <laughs> I don't know why we'd be doing this. So let's. Uh, I guess if we just pull the cord. Here oh, I hello. am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Uh, Boy, what a mess. I'm not Mr. Washington. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> So I guess we talk to her. Can we? Can we talk to her? Yes. No. She's just gonna keep wandering around. Uh, move, move across out the way. <laughs> Come on. Right. Let's talk hey to her. lady. Yes, Mr. Washington. Uh. <laughs> uh. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart in the hall. Ah. My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine <laughs> being named after a sandwich. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So let's go out of here. Where's a, where was a maid's cart? So let's have a look. That's I wonder... not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. I mean, she's got some soap. Soap's not really going to be any good, really. Uh, this seems a scratch in his belly. Um, okay, right. Let's uh, let's move along then. Uh, open the door. Go in. I told you guys uh, I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Okay. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't <laughs> tell me you've got another design change for the flag. No. Uh, okay. I got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Uh, <laughs> faulty. Clover. Uh, how about a school with coffins? <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. I guess I can think if we choose to, it is going to like change. I think we should go with that one. Babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. <laughs> oh, what the heck! At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Ah, uh, okay, right. So we don't actually have like a pattern, do we? This <laughs> uh, patterns. I just... Hmm. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. <laughs> hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. So can we speak to her then? The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, <laughs> and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. Okay, right, so it doesn't look like we're going to be, um, okay, let's go out of here. 
We're not finding what we want to find. So let's go in here. Ooh, distinguished. Je oh, right, that's a portrait. <laughs> Right, so what we got? Oh, this must be Benjamin Franklin's room. The fact he's got a kite in it, I think. Uh, so what's that? A wine... Oh! A wine bottle. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. Chateau de Chipo. <laughs> Someone's telling me you, we could probably get... I'm going to take that. Uh, someone's telling me we could probably do make the vinegar or something out of that in some way. Um, why are we looking at the mirror? Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Oh, fine. <laughs> uh, kite plans? I don't quite see how it can fly. <laughs> Uh, do we, I don't think we want to kind of take these. There's a lot of things to kind of take and which don't seem to... <laughs> I love our hoagie is eating a hoagie. That is pretty, pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> that is... Uh... Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so we've got some stairs here. Is this going to take it? A... Oh, hey, hey, oh. <laughs> Why have we got a random horse here? <laughs> uh, so we speak to the horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Um, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> We've got a, uh... Uh... What's a nice horse like you say doing that one. in a place like this? <laughs> hey, I live here. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get back the to truth. the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. So, let's... I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> I'm kind of really confused now. Uh, Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Is it a real horse? Huh? Hmm. Nice teeth. Nice teeth. Thanks. <laughs> I paid quite a bit for them. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Okay. I'm just, I'm just really confused. Uh, the fact that we've just got, you know. Uh, ooh. Uh, hello? question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? <laughs> I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edison's, Ned and Jed. Okay. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> okay. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Uh, no. Or the model? <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, no. Um, uh, <laughs> But Rock is one. Ah, that's a good one. I like that one. Uh, let's say that one. I'm no marble delivery man, but Rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. <laughs> Where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? Uh, the Valley of the Future. Uh, hmm... Bernard and uh, uh, who? <laughs> oh right, yeah, of course. Um, let's say that. Let's just the say future. the future. Why not? Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. <laughs> 
Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Okay, right, so... Um... Can we just have a wander over here? Is this... Is, is there going to be anything of interest in here, really? I mean, I mean that's the sort of thing. So we, so we talk to uh, Jed Edison. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Sorry. Uh, Right-handed hammer. Ah, okay, so he's obviously the left-handed one because he has got a right-handed one. <laughs> so let's go and speak to him. Um, Sorry, hope I haven't. Let's just go. Then. Let's let's leave them. Let's leave them. <laughs> uh, right, I guess. In, can we go this way? Nope. Let's go this way then. <laughs> right. We're up in the attic. We've got a cat. Uh, so pick up the cat. Doesn't like that. <laughs> Red paint. Okay. Hmm. Okay, um, so we we know these things around. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should just take like the red paint. The fact we can pick, the fact we can pick it up. I'm just going to take it. Why not? So, I mean, it doesn't really kind of tell us. I no, I like <laughs> it the way it is. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we need soap. And not soap, sorry, vinegar and gold. Um, I think I think the next step then is going to be a case of going to. Maybe we should. Maybe we should take the. Can we actually take the soap? Maybe we'll take the soap. I'm just I'm just taking things at this point. I reckon they're going to be things that people are going to want or we're going to need to use with things at some point. Um, so let's go in here. Let's speak to these guys. Uh, oh, we've got a fireplace. Have a, let's have a look at the fireplace. Oh, he's going up it. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, right. Okay, right. That was interesting. <laughs> so... What about this next one here, then? Is that going to be going the same place? It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Oh. Um. Uh, we've got a pulley. Y use the pulley? It's too complicated for me. <laughs> nah. Push. Pull. Nah. It's one of those pulley things. Well, we know that. <laughs> um, okay. Is this, this is a bit random. Just going up onto the roof for no reason. Uh... Let's just kind of go in here. Is there anything else we can do in here then? This is obviously Ned and Jed's room. Uh, I don't know. Pick it up. Pick up the bed like you can actually pick it up. Where am I going to put it? <laughs> in your pocket. Very Spartan. Uh, Where am oh. I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Very Spartan. Okay, they don't seem to be... Ooh, mouse, squeaky mouse toy. Pick up squeaky mouse toy. Oh, sorry. Yo, I... <laughs> um... <laughs> Use cat. Use it for what? <laughs> okay, let's go... I think we... Oh, okay. Ha ha ha. Right, so we've now been taken to the fuchsia. Me. Uh, okay. <laughs> can we actually... We can't go there, can we? Um, I guess it's because she's stuck up the tree. Because um, I know we're obviously we can send things via the time machine toilet things. So maybe if we find like gold and um, uh, vinegar and stuff in the future, we could probably do that. Let's go have a talk to these people then. So uh, I've got the... Uh, Obviously, I can't do anything with that. Right, let's go and talk to, I guess, talk to John Hancock. Yo. Hello. 
All right, mate. Uh. What's up? You cold? Cold? <laughs> I'm freezing. Ah. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> He'd want a poster of a log. Who'd want a poster of a poster? <laughs> you mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, awesome, awesome blanket there. <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. <laughs> Wimp. Uh, okay. Right. Got a motor, dude. You have a what? <laughs> so we've got this time capsule then. So let's have a look at that. Uh... It looks like a martini shaker. Let's speak to Thomas Jefferson then. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Okay. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Uh, okay. Can you start a fire, Can you please? start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. Uh... How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You <laughs> should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Okay, what's, what's in the can? can Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Ah. Um. So, how I wonder if we could use that going? for like the future. I'm sorry to say that, except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, do, is, is Dude, that the Constitution? Is that like the Constitution? Right now, it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Bra. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> oh, gold-plated quill pen. Right. I think we should take it. Hey, keep your hands off that. But it's gold. <laughs> we should be allowed it. Uh... Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Hey, keep I want to take it. Come on. Off that. <laughs> Uh, look at the Constitution. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Pick it up. You can look, but don't okay. touch. Right, let's just speak to George Washington then. All right, uh, mate. Excuse me. Yes. Uh. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, my, my name's Hoagie. Name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. <laughs> um, weren't you president or something? Is it true about you and the and the cherry chocolate? Uh, cold, cold enough, enough for, you. for you. Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. <laughs> 
Nice. Lovely. Cool. <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> okay. Um, right. I'm not sure what we're doing from here. Then this is this is weird. So look at the window. Cold I guess. Cold view of the outhouses. Uh, let's uh, have a look. Excuse me. Yes. Can we ask him about? Uh, I think it's freezing in here, don't you? Uh, we're probably gonna, it's I probably going to tell us the same thing again, isn't it? Freezing, poppycock. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Excuse me. Yes. I don't think is is it true about you and the cherry tree? Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Oh, nice. Uh, I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... <laughs> Let's just say I that. You've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. <laughs> Okay, so this is where it gets a bit. Okay, it's it's it's, it's a bit confusing now because it's obviously uh, <laughs> it's hard to kind of keep up with it, everything that's going on. But there's not. Uh, we don't seem to be finding what we're uh, what we're looking for. This is a, this is interesting. Um, hmm. Maybe we should head to. I'm thinking we should head. Um, like to the few. Let's head back uh, here and see if we can sort of do anything from here. Um, he's got a cup of tea. <laughs> right, let's go upstairs. Because um, as far as it seems, this is like the same kind of build. Yeah, it is like the same building, isn't it? So let's go upstairs. What about this way, actually? So let's go in here. In we go, and uh, okay, uh, push. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. That clown. Ooh, a cigar lighter. I thought it was a gun then. Uh, table covered with junk. So, okay, let's have a look over here then. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and uh, the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. <laughs> Don't call me. Uh, that's good. Where is so everybody? So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. Oh, want a cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. <laughs> hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, well, okay. suit yourself, boy. So, okay, what are we... What are we looking? What are, what are we actually looking for? Uh, <laughs> got some weird teeth. Vat of teeth. Let's just, actually, let's go and have a look at the vat of teeth. Looks like they all escaped. Hmm. Uh, what about the cigar lighter? It looks almost real. Maybe we should take it. Hands off, boy! That's okay. a precision-made novelty. Go away. <laughs> uh, let's go and uh, let's go and check down here then. See, oh, see what we can find. If we can find some things, maybe some vinegar. <laughs> Is 
this is like a it's like a diner in here isn't it uh so we've got coffee coffee maker we've got a fork no, so we don't need that let's go through there uh what have we got in here no i'm not too sure coin slot okay i can't really hmm not too sure. I'm getting I'm getting confused now. This is a it's a little bit it's a little bit weird because obviously uh, we're trying to trying to find things, but there don't seem to be things to find. That's and they don't seem to be getting kind of any other kind of things to do, which you normally get in these kind of games. Um, you know when you're you know if you you need to go and find something, but uh, you know to do that you have to go and do something else, that kind of thing. <laughs> So, what about if we go upstairs, uh, just to have a quick look, and then I think what we'll do then, once we've had a quick look upstairs, we'll probably end this video. Um, ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. So we've got candy machine, but I don't think that's going to be... Uh, so, let's, let's open this one. Uh, hello? <laughs> Uh, sleeping conventioner. Probably don't want to wake him up. Um... <laughs> right, let's go out of here. Uh, this one. In we go. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Okay. How appropriate. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't even do this right. <laughs> um. Okay. This is weird. Disappearing ink. Um. Let's 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 leave him on. <laughs> private. Ooh. It's private. Green. Bernard! Whoa! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Uh... Okay. Wanna help save Wanna the help world? Me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. <laughs> uh, right, so what's you? <laughs> uh, what do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Uh, just, um... <laughs> Design a miniaturization Designing ray? Designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Okay. Um... See right. you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Um... I <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really confused at this game. This game is so like bizarre. You know, just randomly just got tentacles just walking around. World, world domination plants. I think we should uh -oh. look at those. This looks like it might work. Um, uh, maybe we should take them. I don't need to take over the world. Okay. Right. So this has been interesting. <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's a fun game, but I am kind of really confused there's a lot of things that's going on there's so much randomness <laughs> i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below but anyway guys if you've uh, enjoyed this video then make sure to hit that like button and as always if you're new to the channel then go ahead and hit that hit that subscribe button uh, and you'll be able to see all upcoming videos from me <laughs> so guys thank you again for watching and until my next video i'm gonna say bye bye for now and i will see you all later